hi guys you're welcome back to my channel if you see me for the first time thank you for stopping by on this channel we talk about fashion business relationship and i also vlog i've not really started vlogging because of the lockdown but as time goes on i'll be taking you around the city of dallas texas where i live and i'll be showing you all the good things happening here including my designs as well as i'm a fashion designer so i'm so happy today because somebody who i've been watching for so long she's a youtuber based in canada and her name is katia Velino. i just got off from her live program it was really refreshing empowering and very relieving uh, miss katia Velino, if you get to watch this video i just want to tell you that i'm honored to be on your platform and i appreciate you and i thank all your viewers for watching and saying those kind of sweet words to me you are never to be forgotten i appreciate you so guys today i just want to share how um, much talking here on youtube how much it's been helping me uh, before this time i've always wanted to do youtube but uh, i just thought i wouldn't have enough time for it I'm, I'm very busy and i didn't know how to start you know i just keep saying next year next year and for almost three years I just couldn't start but uh, also I didn't really know how to go about expressing uh, my or sharing my own you know some of my personal stories and I definitely know that sharing my and oh and I know that sharing my stories you know sometimes or sharing life experiences bring some sort of healing and closure you know to me I I say this because sometime last year i happened to join a coaching program shout out to coach Christy. thank you for you know your amazing job so god used coach Christy to unveil me you know remove that coverage you know from my life as we all know i grew up in nigeria most of the kids that are born and you know that grew up in nigeria we are always not very open to share you know nigeria community is a hush hush community so whenever i joined the group i guess my coach kind of had a little bit of uh, difficulty with me opening up and that's because of you know how we were raised how i was raised in nigeria so um at the end of the coaching program i was amazed that uh, the co the coach of course of course she's trained to be a coach so she saw my fears you know she described me as somebody who was behind the curtain in her in her own words she said it looks like you know that i'm pretending i'm not really being myself that it looks like i'm behind the curtain you know just peeping instead of to come out and show and shine bright and show myself i'm just you know watching and just you know trying to just be easy or just not really being my true self and when i got home i told my husband and you know i knew that it's something that i've always known you know i always tell my husband oh babe you know i used to be more vocal as a little girl growing up but like I said earlier on, just because of how and in the environment that I grew up, they try to tame us, you know, they try to break your wings. So when you try to express yourself, they feel like you're talking too much when you're trying to do a lot of things. Some of us are blessed with a lot of talents. When you try to <laughs> show these talents, it looks like you're doing too much. So, you know, I was touched that God opened her eyes for her to really see me in that light. So I said to myself, why not step outside, you know, come out of it. If the way she is seeing me is how people see me as me not being myself, you know, I try to tame myself. I try to, uh, you know, not do too much uh, just so that people will be okay with me. And that's not helpful for me. Uh, I pray that I live on earth for a very long time because that's my deal with God. But when I leave this earth, I want to go, I want to live empty. So what I mean is, you know, all the gifts that I was brought into this world with, that, you know, all the gifts that I came into this world with, I want to have emptied myself of all of them. You know, I want to share. I want to teach. I want to tell people about things that I know. I want to have healthy conversations with people that I meet. That's what I want to be. The time uh, when I realized that I had to really come out of my shell, I had to do better with myself, I had to step into my own person, become my own person, was when I found out I was having a baby girl. My goodness. I was excited and I was scared at the same time. That's because how do I raise um, a girl child? You know, I'm not saying raising a boy child is different, but in our environment, in our society, you know, a lot is expected from women. How do I raise my daughter to be a queen when I'm still uh, trying to overcome these things? You know, I have to become my own person. And as my daughter is growing up, her dad is pretty laid back. 
you know, for, for lack of a better word, my husband is kind of gentle and quiet, you know, but I'm very expressive. And that's my daughter is two years old, but I see, you know, she's very expressive also. She's talking already. She's jumping. She's, you know, she does a lot of things. And when she's doing all these things, you know, her dad, my husband will look at me and say, babe, this child is just you, you know? So I knew I had to become my own person. I knew I had to become a queen myself, you know, with her crown well adjusted on my head before I can even raise another, you know? So I'm so happy to coach Chrissy. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much for having me in your program. Everywhere I go, I tell people about you. When I have clients over at the studio, I show them. <laughs> I kept some of your flyers because, you know, it's easy for me to show them. I refuse to give some out, you know, just because I want when I'm talking about you, I'm showing you to them. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be in your program. Thank you. I appreciate you. And uh, thank you guys for watching me. We are uh, almost 150 subscribers. When we get to 200 subscribers, I think I should do a giveaway. What do you guys think? Please write in the comment section if you want me to do a giveaway with cash. I can do a cash giveaway. Or if you're female, you want me to give you a custom outfit. I can do that. Let's, I think I should do a giveaway. What do you all think? Please let me know of your thoughts, okay? I just want to tell you that I appreciate you. And if you're watching me from uh, Katia Bellino's <laughs> channel, if you are newly subscribed to me, Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I will never take you for granted. Thank you. I, I, I don't know what to say. I truly do not know what to say. I just want to tell you that I appreciate you. Me coming on YouTube is like, you know, if I knew I was going to be this relieved, just sharing different topics, you know, to people that I've not really seen in person. And some of you have seen in person. If I knew it was going to be, you know, very refreshing and healthy for me, I think I should have started YouTube a long time ago. Yeah, I think I should have started YouTube a long time ago. Thank you all so much. And if you like what I'm wearing or you like any design you see in my studio, just reach out to me. I'll, you know, take care of your needs. I like to describe myself as somebody who make women happy for a living one dress at a time. I'm V Signature Couture and I make women happy one dress at a time. Thank you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.